All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kodas, Raka. Okay, I want to give, uh, you know, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shalom. Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and in sincerity. I want to go in on this topic of uh, we are allowed to bet. We are literally betting our lives on this truth. Okay. Um, now, going into the word bet. Okay. The word uh, bet is uh, it says to risk something, usually a sum of money against one, I mean, someone else's on the basis of the outcome of a future event, such as the result of a race or a game. Okay, then it says wager, gamble, stake, risk, venture, hazard, chance, put or lay money, speculate. Then it says feel sore. Okay, um, be certain, be sore. Be convinced, be confident, expect, predict, forecast, and guess. Okay? Now, the now, okay, is an act or risk of a sum, risking of a sum of money on the outcome of a future event. Okay? So we're literally betting our lives, okay, that uh, this is the truth, okay? And we're confident that this is the truth. If you're going to bet on anything... You can bet, you can bet, you know, that, you know, Yahweh Shah, the one with the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is going to come back. Okay? You can bet that America is going to be destroyed and all of the signs are dead. Okay? Now, um, I want to go in on, on the topic. Okay? This is of Titus 1 and 1, right? It says, Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Yahweh Shah, according to the faith of Yahweh's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness okay so you have to acknowledge that okay this doctrine the scriptures and a whole is the truth okay and what's what's written inside of it okay which is only given to the elect okay which they're going to know that you know Coming into this truth, the things that they have to get rid of, okay? The things that they have to change in their life, okay? In order to be more godly, okay? It says, in hope of eternal life, okay? I'm going to get that word, hope, which Yahweh, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, okay? So, the Lord, the Most High, Okay, God, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kodas Raka, okay, promised this from the very beginning, which this is a very, this is a guarantee that it's going to happen, okay? So the Lord promised that it's, it's going to happen, okay, the eternal life, okay? Then you go into this word hope, okay? It says expectation of evil or fear. Expectation of good, hope, in a Christian sense, joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation, on hope, and hope, having hope, the author of hope, or he who is its foundation, the thing hoped for, okay, and that goes into having faith, okay, but it says expectation of evil, fear, which would which some of the evil that we, we, we expect. Okay, America being destroyed, two thirds of our people being being uh you know cut off, okay, and dying on this uh side. Okay. Uh martial law, the RFID chip, okay, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, the fact that Esau, which is the so called white man in his military Okay, they're going to they're going to run down on on Jake. Okay, 
the 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 expectation that some of us may have to die for this truth. Okay? Then it says expectation of good. Okay? And these are the things that we're betting on. Okay? The fact that, you know, this society, this world as we know it, okay, Western culture is coming to an end. Okay? And that's a part of our hope that oppression is going to be, be done away with. So, once again, we're betting. Okay? We're sure that this is going to happen. Okay? We're certain. Okay? Confident. Convinced. Okay? We have to convince people that this is going to happen. So, a part of the expectation of good, okay, and and how it ties into uh, betting, okay, this is 1 Timothy 6 and 6. Okay? It says, but godliness with contentment Okay, it's great gain. So we have to be able to um, accept the fact that, you know, we're not going to be the most rich people in this society. Okay. You know, this money, it comes and goes. You know, you don't sell your soul. Okay. You keep your integrity, your spiritual integrity. Okay. It says, for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain that we could carry nothing out. You know, and, and, and that goes to, to literally everything that's over here is temporary. It says, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Okay, now here go, here go a key point. Okay, it says, but they that will be rich, they that will be rich, which if we, if we are going to be rich, okay, if we are the, the, the Lord's elect, okay, we're, we're the Lord's elect, okay? And we acknowledge that this is the truth, okay? It says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurt, hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Now, we, you know, brothers sometimes use this truth, I mean, use this scripture towards the people that are, you know, already rich right now, but... The fact is that, you know, we're the ones who's going to actually be rich. So on this path, okay, there are things that are set up to try to get us off this path, to, to try to tempt us, okay, to, to put us into a snare, okay, to have us looking like fools, okay, to drown us out and to get us to go back into the world, okay. So this truth, which not many people can see, not many people can, 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 you know, un uh, attain this knowledge that we have, okay, for for physical reasons and for for uh, spiritual reasons. You know, not many people can see it, but the fact that we have this knowledge, okay, we we're on the path to being rich, okay. Now I got the word gamble, okay. It says uh, play game of chance for money. Or bet it says take risky action in the hope of a desired result. Okay, so by us being the ones that are, that will be rich, okay, we're taking a risk. Okay, and it's an extreme risk. Okay, it says a risk. The definition: a situation involving exposure to danger. Expose someone or something valued to danger, harm, or loss. Okay. And when you're going to what the scriptures say, okay, we have to be content with, you know, the things that we have, okay, because we don't have nothing in this society, okay, and it all could get taken away from us, you know, at the drop of a dime, like, you know, um, uh, the story of Job, the first chapter, okay, so where we have a lot of uh, exposure, okay, to, to uh, harm, and there's uh this this walk of life, okay? Um, this is Second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are that are lost, okay? Which you know the gospel is the good news, okay? Which we expect, okay? Good to come, okay? A lot of people can't receive it because once again they're lost, okay? It says in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, 
lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shah, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shah, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shah's sake. Okay, for Yahweh, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shah. Okay, so what we're doing, okay, is, is you know, the hopeful elect, the men of the Lord, is we're telling you people the, the real the real deal, okay? The fact that this place known as America is going to be destroyed, okay? Uh, that the so-called uh, Caucasians, which are the biblical Edomites, okay, are going into uh, slavery, okay? And uh, when America is destroyed, okay, what you have all these UFO sightings going on right now, you know, we're going to know who did it, okay, which was the most high God that created everything, okay? But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us, okay? So so in this walk, okay, this, this, this walk that we're betting on, that we literally lost our whole entire life for, okay? This is all in these body, these bodies that we have, okay? Which we know that these bodies are not going to be able to inherit the kingdom of heaven, okay? But at the same time, you know, there are some people out here that will uh, not pass away and they will live forever, okay? It's just that these bodies that we have right now, as it stands, are not going to be uh, in the kingdom of heaven, Okay, our spirits will be there. Okay, we'll have, you know, uh, the, the total knowledge. Okay, but it says that, that the excellency of power may be of Yahweh and not of us. So we don't come preaching our own gospel. Okay, trying to trying to get some type of gain in this society. Okay, we, we're not set up to win on this side. Okay, and um, on... Um, we're on, on the other side, you know, both sides, man. We, we can't do that, okay? This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 8. We are troubled on every side, so no matter what angle, you know, uh, you look at it, we're always going to be in trouble, okay? People are going to come at us and, you know, they're going to ridicule us, whether it's the so-called white man, whether it's, you know, our own brothers or whatever the case, case may be, you know? Um, we're always going to be troubled, okay? Now, once again, the definition for, uh, for trouble, let me get the, the, uh, concordance. Strong's G, 2346. Thlebo. Thlebo. It's th Thlebo, okay? Which means to press is grapes, press hard upon, okay? A compressed way narrow straightened contracted metaphor to trouble aff afflict distress and when you're going through this you know yeah i was shy i had, had to go through all this trouble okay going into the walking into this this truth okay the narrow and straight path okay this is this is a um this is this is something that's you know going to trouble you man this is going to press down hard on you okay this is this is risky Behave, you know, a risk uh, thing, man. Okay. Uh, no matter which way you look at it. Okay. If you're not uh, afflicted in some type of way, you know something is going on. Okay. This is that straight and narrow path. Okay. So this path that we're on, uh, you know, is meant to 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 press down hard upon us. You know, it's whether you're going to burst or not. Okay. It says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Okay, when you go into this word perplexed. Okay. Strong's G, 639. Apareo. 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 Okay, it says, to be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting, to be embarrassed. 
okay? Because, you know, some people out here would embarrass us, you know, are you snow dummies and, you know, when we go out there in the hot or we go out there in the cold, okay? People sit up there and they say that we're stupid. It says to be in doubt, not to know which way to turn, to be at a loss with oneself, be in doubt, not to know how to decide or what to do, to be perplexed, right? Which if you look at the definitions that I brought out, okay, this, this says to be in doubt, right? Which a lot of people look at us and, you know, they say, you know, I don't know, man. Those guys, you know, I don't know if they're going to, uh, going to, you know, they just fools, man. It says we are perplexed, but not in despair because we know it was was going on. We know that, uh, this, uh, that this is the truth. It says persecuted, but not forsaken. Okay. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahawasai, that the life also of Yahawasai might be made manifest in our body. Okay, so we're bearing that burden that Yahawasai uh, took or carried. Okay, and we're also telling people that, hey, these are the things that Yahawasai went through, so we're going to go through those things also. The one you called Jesus. Okay, it says, uh, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh's sake, that the life also of Yahweh's might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get uh three more scriptures and I'm gonna end it. Okay, it's Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies as a living a living sacrifice. Okay. And when we out there, man, it hurts. When we, when we, uh, when we um, are uh, putting up video, that's time, you know, the uh, that you could have been putting in towards your woman or putting towards any type of leisure or whatever the case may be. Okay, going out there on the highway and hedges, that's time that you know some brothers could be making making money. Okay, but we're presenting our body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable. Onto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Okay, so we're betting our lives, okay, that this is the truth. Okay, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh by Sim Kodas Rakah. Okay, now it says the will, okay. Strong's G, 2307. Thelema. 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 Okay, what one wishes or has determined shall be done. Of the purpose of Yahweh to bless mankind through Yahweh's side. Okay. Now, the scripture in Titus, it says, an apostle of Yahweh's side. Okay. Um, and hope of eternal life. Okay. Which Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Kodash Raka, uh, which God that cannot lie promised be before the begin the world began. So this is the will of the Heavenly Father that these things must happen. Okay, that you must go through this help. Okay, it says uh, of what God wishes to be done by us, commands, precepts. Okay, the will, choice, inclination, desire, and pleasure. Okay. And that's what, what goes on, you know, when, when, you know, I just read that, you know, about how we're troubled but not distressed. Okay, because this is the will of the Heavenly Father that we go through this. You know? Now, let me get this, Matthew 6 and 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay, so our mind, okay, which your heart is your mind, okay, our minds are on the, the, the kingdom of heaven on this knowledge okay on getting the hell up out of this hell man okay and doing the things you know hopefully we're 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 found worthy of that okay so so this is where our hope is you know the fact that 
our, you know, that's where our treasure is, the, the things that we're betting on, okay? Now, this is Matthew 13 and 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man has found, okay, once again, the, the acknowledging that this is the truth, okay, you found out that you're an Israelite, okay, which, you know, got to be more godly, okay, and, and, and let go of this life that we live in, okay, it says, the which when a man has found the truth, he hides, and for joy, okay, which when you, when it says that, that, that he hides, okay, the Lord is the one who's actually hiding it, because this gospel is, is hit, okay, the good news that's to come is hit, okay, to, to them that are lost. It's not here to the ones that, 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 that know the truth. It's here to the ones that are lost. Okay? It says, uh, He hides, and for joy thereof goes and sells all that he has, and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man selling goodly pearls, who when he has found one pearl, of great price went and sold all that he had and brought it okay so basically we are betting our lives okay and we're wagering everything okay on you know it's all or nothing in this truth okay is either you gonna go hard for this truth okay and you're gonna you're gonna uh you know be found Okay, uh, a winner, or you're not gonna do it. Okay, you're not going. You're not gonna put up bet all your marbles. Okay, the men of the Lord are betting all their marbles that this is the truth, man. Betting everything. Okay, we're selling everything that we have. Okay, for 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 this knowledge, you know, which is this precious knowledge because this is the truth. Okay, so you know, I had a couple more scriptures. You know, but um, I'm a uh, I'm gonna just end it, man. You know, on that uh, that 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 right there, man. So with that, you know, hopefully this was uh, edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.